everybody, Jonathan Dangles here at Jack Customs with my really corny opening. Okay, so I had a fellow friend, a modeler, not on YouTube, just a personal friend that does modeling, and he said that there is no way that I could finish building this truck in 24 hours. Because he started a truck at the same time, so we're having a little competition. And he he doesn't do the whole YouTube scene, so he can't see the truck till in the 24 hours. So I can show it you guys though. It's not finished. It's almost there. I have till 12:30 tonight finish this, cause this that was the exact time I started this. Um. What I have left to do is I have to put the exhaust on it. Um, I'm going to show you guys around of what I have done already. Oh, this engine is beefy. We got a big swapped out 380 for a 454. Yes, I just said that. A 454. Um, hold on a second here. Hold on one second. One second, one second, one second. Okay. So, got a beefy 454 in here. Got a custom Canon cold air filter. I don't remember who made the video. I, uh, man, I don't remember who it was. I'm sorry, whoever it was that made it. Let me know. I'll, I'll, uh, let me know after this video. If it was you that made the video, uh, then I'll, I'll uh, mention you in the next video. They showed how you can take this. I believe it was Redneck 7381, not sure, uh, that took the top to the super glue and cut it, made the air filter, which is exactly what I did here. Um, then this is just extra tubing from the F-250 intake then we have some uh, piping, wiring stuff going down here down here, you know, you gotta, you, you're racing a car, you know you don't think you have, you think you might win by a little bit so you got this little thing going on right here, a little little concealed not like flashing it off in the back or anything Concealed under the hood. Uh, got some wiring to do under here and stuff. But here we got the supercharger. Um, going to the interior portion. We have the uh, PlayStation controller. Monitor for your PlayStation needs. PlayStation is underneath the dashboard, which I don't know why I put it there because you can't see it at all. Got a speaker on each side of each door. Got the custom chrome shifter made out of the twirly pieces of the chicken wire. Um, and then we have, see it through the window here. You can kind of see it there. Uh, it's hard to get my hand around here. See, like right there. Um, we got the supercharger temperature gauge or whatever you want to call it going on to the bed here we got two um, alpine type R subwoofers here and obviously the the face would be in here but you know a regular cab truck you don't have much room then we have a uh, amp Uh, I'm just going by what my brother tells me what is the best because he's a nuts about this stuff. Uh, he says uh, Rockford Foskett is like the best, one of the best amps you can get. Toss one of those in and uh, Alpine Type R's, that's what he's got in his car. One day I'll do a clip of uh, his sound system, it's really, really nice. Um, and of course, you know, we got the custom rims off the custom... Uh, 72, I believe it was, Monte Carlo. I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'll have to check with that. 
uh, with the custom suspension that I did, not everything fits together, like, absolutely perfect. See, so we've got a little gap there and stuff, but it's no big deal. Um, of course, we got the bed rails on there still. And then, I wanted to have mirrors, because I hate the look of a vehicle that doesn't have mirrors. But I didn't want to put the tow mirrors like it originally had on it. So I decided to cut them down and turn them sideways. As a result of that, I think they look really good because I wanted to do a lot of chrome on this vehicle. So, that's what I did. Uh, again, I think it's a great looking truck so far. And another thing that doesn't line up perfectly, see it right there. Yeah, that wheel sticks out. That wheel doesn't. Just little imperfections, but whatever. It's no biggie. Okay. Um, uh, thank you guys, all the comments, subscriptions, everything. Uh, oh, man, now I can't do it. Uh, Spec Thompson, thanks a lot for considering me for the Gremlin. Uh, I wanted to build that for a while. Could never find it on eBay for a decent price when I did have money. Um, talk new about it now. Uh, don't want to put all of our information out on YouTube here. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for, uh, considering me for that. Um, I got a big mess here to clean up. I'm gonna clean that up. And then maybe tonight I'll make a video of the organization. Because I am reorganizing my stuff. Probably can't tell it all right now. But, uh, yeah. So... I'll talk to you guys later then. Peace. And as first, Jimmy71 would say, chicken grease. Fuck. I'm not trying to steal your thunder there. I was just, I just watched one of your videos and it reminded me of it. Okay, so uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.